Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the seven characteristics of living things and some of the ways in which these processes are carried out. The first thing we're going to touch on today is feeding. All living things require nutrition to survive and not just you and I, this applies to even the smallest single cell organism. Here's an example of an amoeba devouring its prey through a process known as phagocytosis. That uh, material can then later be digested within the cell. The next characteristic is movement. We all know that animals move, but what about plants? The answer is that all living things exhibit movement on some level. Now plants move a lot slower than we do. This time-lapse video shows young plants twisting and turning their leaves towards the light source in a process known as phototropism. The next characteristic is breathing or respiration. All living things need to carry out some form of respiration in order to survive. As humans, we breathe air through the lungs and we need equipment such as this scuba gear in order to be able to breathe underwater. Fish, on the other hand, don't have lungs. They have specialized organs known as gills, which allow them to obtain the oxygen that they need for respiration directly from the water column. The next characteristic is excretion. Excretion is removal of waste from the body. This is accomplished in a number of ways by animals. Plants, however, are not as efficient at removing waste as we are. They contain specialized organelles known as vacuoles, where the material can be stored until the cell dies. The fifth characteristic is growth. In multicellular organisms, growth occurs by an increase in the number of cells. Now this can mean anything from an infant developing into a full-grown adult to the daily regeneration of lost skin and hair cells. Some organisms have the ability to replace lost eyes and even limbs. This gecko, for instance, will soon regrow his tail that was lost, most likely, as a result of an external stimuli. That brings us to our sixth characteristic, which is sensitivity. Sensitivity is the ability to detect and respond to external stimuli and is a necessary characteristic in order to survive. Going back to the example of the gecko, he most likely lost his tail trying to escape from a perceived external threat, thus increasing his chances of survival. The final characteristic is reproduction. Reproduction is the process of generating offspring and is crucial to the prevention of extinction. Most multicellular organisms reproduce sexually. Single-celled organisms, prokaryotes in particular, reproduce asexually as demonstrated in this video showing binary fission, which results in the production of two identical cells. <laughs> 